Hello all, how's it going? Joseph Reviews back again. And I did promise I will do a ranking on this and now I am doing it. It is my all 17 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies ranking. I'm going to do one for now on every each after film comes out. Uh, there will be some opinion changes. Um, and since there are all 17 Marvel films, I am in fact 17. A lot of YouTubers who I talk to thought I look a lot younger, but I am 17. I basically just haven't got my driver's license yet. Hopefully I'll get it in the future. Hopefully not too late, but, but time will get there. Anyways, um, this is, like I just said, my ranking of the Marvel films from worst to best in my opinion. Keep in mind guys, these are all the boxes, box sets for all these films. I have 15 Marvel films on Blu-ray. I do not have two of the ones in Cinematic Universe. Uh, you can probably guess what those two are, but we'll get to those in for, uh, eventually. So, I'll have my phone here to help me to make sure I'm getting all of this right. So, alright. Let's get going with my opinion on uh, the Marvel films from worst to best in the cinematic universe. And here we go. Alright, so coming at, uh, coming at number 17 is a film that is trying to do too much setup, and that's Iron Man 2. Now keep in mind guys, I don't hate any of these movies. These are all over 6 or 7 out of 10 movies because I love this franchise. But Iron Man 2 for me is just... Uh, I will say though, this is one of the good looking Marvel films. They're all, they all are really, but... <clears throat> but for me this was just too much of a setup. This is this was the third Marvel film in the cinematic universe. Now, Tony Robert Downey Jr. is still uh fantastic as Iron Man. And it's good to see Scarlett Johansson for the first time in this series as Black Widow. Along with um uh War Machine as well. He's also good. But the villain Whiplash is very uh, wasted in this movie, one of the weakest uh, villains of the series. As we all know, the series hasn't gone well with its villains, but you know, it's how things are. And uh, I just feel like a third one isn't really, we don't really need enough setups. I mean, I mean we know it's usually six or more than that in every face of films. But, you know, everything does their job, and that is Iron Man 2 at, num at number 17. And as how I'd give it, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I'm now going to do rankings for these series as for now on. Okay, coming at number 16, now, yep, uh, this was one, this was probably the least looking, good looking of the Marvel films, and it has quite possibly the worst villain in it, in the whole cinematic universe, and that is Thor the Dark World, the second Thor film, and the... Um, let me see. Alright, so Iron Man... Yes, this is the second film in Phase 2. Um, again, this just wasn't... This was too much of a setup, really. Um, well, it's good to see Thor back, and... But... Loki just dies in this movie, and I'm like... Come on, why would you kill, do that? A Madikif, uh, who is one of the worst villains I've ever seen in a comic book movie, 
Now look, it does have its good qualities. Uh, Chris Hensworth is still good as Thor. Um, I think uh, Nellie Portman is better than what other people think she is in these Thor movies, except for the third one, but... Again, this just wasn't really much. It's just... Trying, it's just Manikov trying to destroy things, really. I don't know. But I'd give this also a 7 out of 10. And that's number 16. Alright, number 15. Now. Number 15. Yes. Okay. Is... Is another film in Phase 2. Uh, Face 2 had its good movies and bad, well, and okay movies, I would say. Decent, really. But number 15 is Iron Man 3. Now look, it, it, it was nice getting a different director. It's nice having getting different directors for these Marvel films. But Shane Black, I didn't feel like was... I mean, it's a good... It's... It's good looking to look at. I mean, the villain's wasted in this. Uh, Shane Black is a very talented director, what he did with the nice guys, but this movie just. Robert Downey Jr. is still great as Iron Man. Um, War Machine is still good in this. The villain is just wasted in this movie. The. Um, I know there are some people out there that actually do like it, but I like it as well, but yeah. I have nothing else to say. As how I'd give this, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Alright, coming at number 14, if I'm correct. Let me look at that quick. Um, yes, and that is... The Incredible Hulk. Now look, Edward Norton is a good Hulk in this movie. Um, I'm not going to say too much on these movies, guys, because because I don't want this video to be too long. Because I have because I can't upload up to 15 minutes anymore unless if I have to do a second part, really. But but it was nice seeing the Hulk for the first time. In the cinematic universe. This is the second film in the cinematic universe. And nothing really happened much. I mean these four are like the least are like the most forgettable. And that is the Incredible Hulk. I give it also a seven out of ten. Okay. Now on to num Number 13, if I'm correct. Yes. And that is uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Now, look, this is where we start to get a bit better. Now, this was uh, quite a good start for Captain America. You know, it was good to see Captain America in his old days. You know, how he got stronger and everything. Red Skull was a decent villain, I would say. Not the best, but he was actually pretty good. Um, Chris Evans was perfect choice to be Captain America. Joe Johnston is he's an okay director. He did Jurassic Park 3, which... Yeah. If you want to check out all my reviews, my review on this, it's on my channel. And as I give this, I give this an 8 out of 10. We're now moving up now, guys. Alright, number 12, I believe. Number 12. Yep. Yep, this is one of the ones that re came out this year. And that is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Volume 2. Now look, guys, this is still a good movie. Uh, I do think it's better than what most people do think it's to be. It's definitely not one of the best, but I do think it's one of the more solid ones in the series. I mean, the soundtrack is good, but not nowhere as good 
but which we'll get into in a minute. Um, there were too many jokes in this movie, uh, and the story just wasn't as good, but the characters were at least good in it. But if you want to see more on this, more reviews on this, um, check out my review on this, and I give this an 8 out of 10. Alright, where were we? So number 11, wasn't it? Yeah. And number 11 is the first Thor movie. Now, I have changed my opinion on this now, actually. Um, Th Thor is still a good movie. This is why I think it's a bit better than what people consider it to be. Um, I think uh, Thor is great in this movie by... Chris Hemsworth, as, along with um, everybody else. If Again, if you want to check my review, check out on it. I give this an 8 out of 10 as well. And so, number 10 now. We're into the top 10, folks. And starting at number 10 is one of the ones I don't have, and that is Spider-Man Homecoming. Um... We have now gotten a better villain now, uh, uh, played by Michael Keaton, um, the Vulture, I believe. Yeah, he was definitely a better villain. And if again, if you want to check out my review, it's on my channel. I give it an eight out of ten. All right, number nine is another one I've changed my opinion on recently, but still think it's good enough. And that is Avengers Age of Ultron. Now look, I used to really like the villain, uh, Ultron, but now I've started to change my opinion on him. So, that's uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, and just, eh, not really much, huh? In. So, but but the Avengers are great coming back as well, and I give this an eight out of ten. Again, if you want to check out my review on this, I'll be back to talk about more on this along with the other films. But anyways, 